Reaching high places can be challenging in many work environments. But whether you find yourself on a construction site, changing light bulbs in a warehouse, or performing outdoor utility work, aerial lifts can help you reach work areas that would otherwise be almost impossible to get to. OSHA describes an aerial lift as a vehicle-mounted, boom-supported work platform used to elevate personnel to job sites that are above the ground. They are mobile and can usually be set up and operated by a single person. This program will introduce you to various types of aerial lifts, make you aware of the hazards that are associated with them, and give you the information that you'll need to work safely, whether you're using a lift or working around one. Depending on the work that you're doing, there are a variety of aerial lifts to choose from. Extensible boom platforms use a single arm to lift their work platform to the desired height. Aerial ladders consist of a single or multiple section extendable ladder, such as the powered ladders on fire trucks. Articulating boom platforms contain two or more hinged boom sections, which allow the arm to maneuver into difficult to reach places. Vertical towers are designed to elevate a platform straight into the air using a mechanism such as a telescoping mast. Most aerial lifts are made up of four major elements. A base with supports for the lift's platform or bucket. A lifting mechanism. The platform or bucket itself. And controls which are often located on both the base and the platform. The main difference between the various types of aerial lifts is in the mechanism that lifts the platform. Typically, it's hydraulic, pneumatic, or driven by electrically powered gears. OSHA requires that anyone who works with or near aerial lifts be trained on the various hazards related to the lift equipment, as well as on how to control or minimize these hazards. Much of the information that you'll need is included in this program, such as an examination of the electrical, fall and falling object hazards associated with using an aerial lift. Techniques for controlling, minimizing, or eliminating these hazards. How to recognize and avoid unsafe conditions in the areas where you'll be using a lift. How to determine whether you're exceeding a lift's maximum load capacity. When and how you should inspect an aerial lift. How to operate a lift correctly. And how to safely move a lift.